again time to check trap line um, 13 below zero as I just showed you I'm just starting up the snow machines looking around sun's out looks like it's gonna be a good day I got a black eye there I just had eye surgery here a little over a week ago so this is my first time back out here on the line um, gonna give her a go and see how she goes uh hopefully hopefully we got something i woke up at 1 30 this morning with a dream that i had a wolverine and a conna bear that uh that would be nice to know if that came true or not so anyway see you on the line so tucks drags work oh well, that's something you don't see every day we got a little caribou here. We got caught by one toe. Um, looks like about a two-year-old. Its leg's not tore up, so I'm gonna try to get it held down and uh, we'll get the foot off its trap and let, and let it grow. Let's uh, see how this pans out without anybody going to the hospital. So, we got him out. That's a uh, nice thing about those offset. He's up there. Let's see. Yeah. Anyway, had him by one toe. We got him out, got him wrapped around that tree. And uh, yeah. 5H rebar. People who don't know how to weld, weld and <laughs> it'll hold a caribou. There he goes. But uh, there he goes up the hill right there. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got that caribou released. He uh, went up the hill. Um, we got him down. I got a coat over his head. Tuck got a hold of the. That was a Duke 850 Pro uh, that we had him caught in. Um, got him down. I held him down. Tuck released the trap. We inspected his foot. If uh, if there had been any doubt in my mind, he wouldn't have made it. We would have dispatched him and turned him into fishing game. Um, his leg looked good. No broken bones. Definitely, definitely stressed. Definitely bruising. Um, no, no blood. No nothing. I, uh, I can say now I'm actually impressed with the Duke 850s um, for zero damage. Zero damage on that. Um, so he's gone. He's away. That trap is contaminated now, though, unfortunately. So we're going to have to take it back to the house and boil it. Um, but yeah, he's gone. Up the hill. To go join his friends that are up there somewhere. They had the trail up there. They're not very far out in front of him. Um, there's no snow in their trail, so yeah. Anyways, we're off to the next one. A little bit of excitement for this morning. So, but yeah, like I was saying, if there had been any damage, we would have dispatched him, took him down to the troopers, and he would have went to a charitable organization where they would have made uh burger or something out of uh out of the meat so but like i said there was no damage so there was no need to no need to put him down we just released him and let him go for another day anyway you guys enjoy it's gonna be a beautiful day out here on the line though that's for sure Wolverine across the trail there. He goes up up and that way. Haven't seen their tracks through this section of the trail at all this year, so we'll uh, keep an eye out. Maybe uh, set a milk crate set over there in the trees or something when we come back. We gotta backtrack fast through here, so we'll 
see, but the trail goes right up there, right up through the mountains. Otherwise, not much of anything today. Lots of moose tracks, caribou tracks, that's about it. That's uh, the first sign of anything other than moose and caribou we've seen oh. in the valley. Here we are, clearing snow off our martin sets. A beaver house right there. Uh, we used to have a 330 bucket set over there. Um, moved it further down the line where we had a lot more links of wolverine activity. But uh, thinking we're gonna move one back, not to the house here, but down the trail from here where that wolverine crossed pull one from from up up the line somewhere because I just don't have any extra milk crates with me lots of 330s no milk crates to the guy that asked about how I got my gun boot mounted on it's just the link Q system I went through the bumper with the mount and here I had to do a little bit of bending here and changing up a little bit of the angles in here to make it all work because the Link U system isn't designed to work with the Expedition Sport, only with the wide tracks. But I was able to make it work with the offset of the bumper and tweaking this just a little bit not not even all that much i mean you can kind of see how it, the angle is not the true 90 there but that's it i just used the link cue system mounted it on it's quick to take on and off if needed um yeah there we go not attached to the trapping box anyway on to the next one So, oh, finally our first sign of wolf all day, right there, old, oh, got some snares up in there, bait pile, you skir skirted around the entire thing, this is caribou, I think he was down here mainly chasing the fresh caribou, but here's what it is, he uh, skirted around the bait pile, didn't get within 75 feet from the looks of it so it is what it is you got lucky this time maybe we got them further up the hill we got a bunch more snares and uh a gut pile actually up there on that hillside so we'll see kind of socked in with overcast now so our beautiful cloudless day looks like it's going to be snowing on us by the end of it there's tuck coming out of the woods back there he was checking the martin set we got and checking the other wolf snares that are back there in those trees so nothing all right on to the next smart guys they walked right up Right up to it, not turn around, but the snow did a number on it. Made it to where it's not working, so. I'm gonna walk through here. I've got 18 snares between where I'm currently standing and where that gut pile is up there, so. Maybe the snow didn't wreak havoc on all of them. So, here's the, here's the seeing. Yeah, he got right up, right up there. Didn't like something. Turned around, backed right out. So, anyway, here we're going for a walk. No, we just walked up there, fixed all the snares. They all look the same, all knocked over from snow. Uh, honest, five inches of snow since the last time we were up in there. Uh, it just knocked everything down. So, 
but we got more snow coming in. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but yeah, uh, more snow coming in. Fog's rolling in. Blue skies behind us. You can see it back there going over the hill. Uh, anyway, on to the next one. Well, tuck's grabbing my pistol, but uh, right there, we got ourselves a young pup. Um, so, I'm gonna put him down. We had three footholds in this area, and uh. Get him taken care of and look for the rest. But yeah, that's just a very young pup. So I left Tuck back there with that wolf. He's uh, finishing up tying that one down on the sled. We got it drug out to the trail. I got five snares here. Five, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven snares right here that I can see. One still functioning right. But I can see two of them are completely just laid down on the ground over here. And I've got a couple of them that are over here. The rest of them are over in here. And they're just laid down on the ground too from, from getting hammered with snow. So I'm going to go fix the snares. And uh, yeah, that's a nice looking, nice looking black and gray wolf we got there. Uh I'll show it better when we don't have it wrapped all in carpet for the we still got 15 miles of line to run so we got it all wrapped in carpet to keep it from rubbing out but anyways going in wish me luck all right guys this is one of my lynx cubbies here I got Shoulder blade, caribou shoulder blade wired to the big spruce tree in the back. A chunk of uh, beaver meat there wired to that pole. Uh, got a log here that uh, they got to step over. The trap's right there between all the sticks. It's a uh, number four uh, Duke. Um, Tuck's over there. He's uh, dealing with one of our little Martin pole sets that we got going on and uh, you're making that all stink putting the good stuff on it but yeah I punched a trail I walked through here this is just an oxbow on the river back over that way there is the river probably 200 feet and then uh, that's the river right there so just on a big old S curve here we are. Now we're on the creek. And our milk crate set right here. So notice we had some lynx traveling our trail out here on the creek. And they were going right on by everything that was in the woods. So through a vertical milk crate here 330 see what happens we also got wolverines that come through here too so one of them wants to stick their head in there they're more than welcome to but see you on the next one oh here we go it's a chunk of caribou hide grouse feather another uh lynx cubby slash wolverine cubby uh, there's a number four double long spring down there that's buried in the snow. So, we'll hold pretty much everything we have. But, we got another Martin Cubby over there. We kind of like to set them in tandem. Because, uh, they like the same thing. So, but yeah, it looks like we had, uh, I think Wolf go down our trail out here on the creek over the last week. But don't know for sure. It's, everything's been snowed in, so 
on to the next. We just freshened up the lure here. Oh, well, we got one more on, two more on the creek to check. So here we are, one of my natural cubbies. Driftwood stump up. Another number four duke. It's just a number four jump duke. We got it cabled off to the driftwood there. We got an old rib cage, a couple pieces of leg, and I just threw a chunk of caribou hide covered in lure back down in there. It's a nice little natural set along the riverbank. Uh, yeah, we had wolves come through, they were right over there, but this is not set for them. I do think the number four would hold them for a short time, but definitely not a long time. Anyway, one more left on the creek. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, and it happens to be a 330. Maybe my dream did come true. Yet to find out. So, I made it across, but I don't want Tuck to try. Uh, I broke through there, I broke through there, hit water both places. This whole shelf collapsed on me while I was crossing all the way back, all the way back over into, into here. I had just snow falling in. So, he's going to cut loose of his trailer, he's going to get turned around. I'm going to go up, get turned around, and I'm going to put a new trail in up there along that high edge and down there where the driftwood's sticking out I think there's a good spot to put a trail in, make a new trail up high there so here we go the adventures of running the river as you can see there's open water right there I got wolf tracks right here in front of me so I'm gonna have to come right I have to turn around and come right here because I got a bunch of driftwood there, driftwood there. Yeah, fun times. Anyway, wouldn't have it any other way. So here we are up on top. We'll turn around. Looks like we got Martin over here. Definitely the caribou have been here. Oh yeah, we got Martin. That all covered in frost. Yep, he, uh, he wasn't going nowhere. It's like a big old male. Yep, another behemoth. Good front foothold. That, you don't want to know what that is. That is just a bag that had our lure in it and the lure broke in the bag i just wired the lure to the pole but uh another big male I'm gonna see if we can get him out and uh he's a real blonde hopefully his paw's not messed up and he's taxidermiable because that's a that's a big light colored martin all right see you on the next one 30. Oh, another tank of a Martin. That one's uh <laughs> that filled that 150 Bridger. Look at that. Just full. Oh yeah. Super pale orange. Yeah. Man, that thing is a beast. Anyway, grab another 150 and uh, we'll be on our way. But yeah, that's a big Martin. Look at that head. The thing's huge. You got big old ears. White face. Yep. White face. Yeah. Bled out his ears. Tank. <laughs> but yeah. Duck's gonna wrap him up and uh, I'm gonna put a new trap in. This is my mess of a. This is my 
mess. A little bit of everything in here. Box snares, wolf snares, nine wire, you name it, it's in there. Yeah, that's what that Martin's in. And that's a 2X glove, so. So today we're trying something a little different. Chef Tuckness, <laughs> chicken Alfredo pasta. I don't know what he's got, but uh, we're rolling with it. Anyway, it's snowing. It's blowing up on top of the hill. We were gonna eat lunch up there, but got up there with that Martin and decided, no, we wanted to get out of the wind. So here we are, down at the creek. Back off the top, we got about a dozen sets left to check, and uh, that's it, about a dozen sets left to check, and I'm going to set one or two wolf footholds on the way out. Um, we got some hay, so we'll do some hay sets in the snow, courtesy of the dog mushers. Um, hopefully uh, catch us a few more. Anyway, peace out. See you down the line. Natural cubby set 330. Got a chunk of beaver meat back there. Some lure. 330 tree. It's just should have used my phone it's got better zoom i guess yeah you want to turn around and go back <laughs> no no anyway little windy coming with three back through the pass and see the snow blowing there was some drifts back there on the one side that were three and four feet tall um kind of tapered out to nothing more towards center center of the road but by tomorrow. I, I wasn't smart enough to pull out the recording object that has the better zoom before I tried to use it with the GoPro. And I do see a camcorder in my near future. Good snow drifts there. Yeah, got a little wind up on top. Little drift action going on. <laughs> All right, everybody. So here's the catches from the trap line. There's that. Uh, it's a blue face female. Um, I don't generally weigh them, but she's uh, she's old. I thought she was young when I first looked at her. No, in line, real life, she's old. She's old. Her teeth are almost completely wore out. Um, she was a loner. Uh, I know I said that I would probably have some footage of her on the trail camera because she got caught 15 feet in front of the trail camera. Well, I was an idiot when I set it up and I never took the trail camera out of setup mode. So zero videos. But there's the female. Um, and then there's the two Martin. There, one of them is like a torque colored, like a torque rabbit, real light, real, real light compared to the other blaze orange ones we get. Um, they both, uh, they both measure out right now, tip of nose, base tail at 18 inches. So they're both very large. Um, putting them on the stretcher, they're going to come out somewhere around the 24 inch mark stretched. Um, but I do have a taxidermist that's already interested in them for mounting so there's that anyways another good run on the line um our martin season's almost over we have another 18 days 18 days of martin season then all of our martin traps will end up getting pulled uh and then wolverine closes on the same day yeah, the Wolverine season closes on the same day, the 28th of February. Lynx goes till 
the 15th of March in that area. And then after that, we'll be concentrating on pretty much just the wolves. Um, wolf season closes the end of April. So that's it's upcoming for us. Uh, we're going to start getting into some spring beaver trapping here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's some, some of the upcoming videos that will be coming down the line. And then, uh, I want to give a shout out, shout out to, uh, Dead Pine Collective. The things he's doing with the kids in his neighborhood, his area, it's amazing. And I, I would, I wish I could do the same thing here, but there's just a lot of closed mindedness when it comes to, comes to the trapping thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, you guys keep up the good work and Dead Pine, if you're not subscribed to his channel, check it out. It's, it's cool. All right. Have a good one, guys.